Hey, Coos, just want to get your thoughts first on having fans back in the building and uh, what that was like tonight. Uh, it was fun to have a little energy out there. Uh, having fans was a little bit different, uh, especially for us. We haven't had fans since March. And, um, you know, I think we're just all glad to have you know, something that's a little bit normal. So. What did you think of Jalen Brown's night, and, and what were you guys trying to do to slow him down and have the full was no, uh, he made he made a lot of tough shots. Uh, he made a lot of tough shots, and you know, for us, I don't think we uh, followed certain uh, certain game plan um, issues that we had with that. Um, so, yeah, you know, he had a great night. And then, Kyle, anything that you noticed specifically with that closing group there, or the you know the end of the bench guys that cut that lead down? Yeah, that was a lot of fun uh, seeing those guys get in and compete. You know, for latter of the game, uh, most of us, you know, didn't really play, uh, you know, that hard. And to see those guys come in and, and give effort, um, you know, that was everything. We were all excited. And, um, you know, they uh, they almost pulled through. Man? So it's now that you experienced it tonight, um, looking back on the, I don't know how many home games you guys have played, but, but – how big of a disadvantage do you think it's been over the course of this year to not have atmosphere, um, to not have energy from the crowd at home games and stuff like that? And, uh, obviously, it didn't matter in terms of where last night, but as this team fights off fatigue down the stretch, do you think that could be something that's helpful? Yeah, for sure. You know, uh, especially with us, we, we have a lot of guys that are, you know, banged up. We have a lot of guys that played a lot of minutes and a lot of guys that are out. So. Um, you know, having fans is really going to help us down the stretch. Um, you know, oh, just man, figure out some energy. Go. <laughs> I'll go. First of all, uh, great, great shout out to whoever said Cisco. That was a great reference uh, back there. Yeah, it was um, McKinney. But, <laughs> yeah. but second of all, um, just assuming that AD is going to be able to practice tomorrow, practice weekend. I mean, you guys are are so banged up and, and you have a bunch of guys healing from certain things. And I guess even yourself, what do you think that's going to be like trying to incorporate him back in, in a lineup this banged up? Man, it's going to be great. Like I said, you know, um, you know, just to get extra bodies out there. Uh, I think that's the most important thing outside of, you know, obviously getting him acclimated and uh, back to, you know, playing shape. You know, uh, you know, we've had a long stretch. You know, a lot of guys been missing, missing parts, uh, players playing through stuff. So, um, you know, we're excited to get him back, and um, you know, you know, hopefully get Keith back um, with his foot and, and drum too. So, because did you see Mark's finger after he dove on on the floor? Oh uh, no, no, I, I didn't see. I didn't see it. Uh, uh, apparently, your U.S. trainer like relocated it for him, like on, on the bench. Uh, did, were you guys aware that that happened? Like, wow, well, whatever was going on. No, I didn't. I didn't know it whatsoever. Okay. He's next for you, so you can ask. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll ask him. appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, I need a mirror. Can I mirror? Huh? A mirror? A mirror? Yeah, you want to? Oh, I got you. Oh, I got you. Uh, Michael Dorothy. There was a uh, Lakers tweeted out that you're the first Laker since Kobe Bryant to score 4,000 points in your first 261 games. What's it like to be in that company? I mean, uh, I mean that's cool, but I mean, if I would have played a little bit better and we probably would have won, I would have had more of a quote for you. So, you know, I played like shit today. So, I mean, yeah, that's cool, but. All right, we'll take one more question. Let's roll. Hey, Kuz, um, in regards to having fans out here tonight, I'm curious, is there one moment, maybe like a certain cheer or a certain boo or a chant or something that really stood out to you? Uh, not really. I just think uh, for us to just have fans hear cheers and, and hear, you know, how loud it got at the very end of the game was really fun and exciting for us. Um, I think that's the thing that we missed the most. And, um, you know, as – the days go on, hopefully we get more and more fans and, you know, that roar gets louder and louder.